All right, I have been asked to give a proof of this theorem, that the angle theta between two non-zero vectors, u and v, is given by this equation. Uh, theta is equal to the inverse cosine of the dot product of u and v divided by uh, the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. All right, so let's start by drawing two vectors, u and v. Uh, so we'll draw a vector like this and a vector like this. Um, we'll call this vector u, and we'll call this vector v. Um, now, notice that if we were to subtract these two, uh, vector u minus vector v, that's the same as u plus negative v. Negative v would just be this vector that would continue out this way in the opposite direction of v. And if we took that, this is uh, negative v, if we took that and added it to u uh, by taking the tail of this vector and placing it to the head of this vector, um, we get, uh, and, then, and then connecting this, we get that this is u minus v. And from the parallelogram law of vector addition, um, this vector is going to be the same as, as this vector. Remember that we don't care where in space vectors are. Uh, all that we care about is their, their length, their magnitude, and their direction. So you can see that these two vectors are exactly the same. They have the same magnitude and the same direction. So this vector right here, the vector that uh, connects uh, u and v and makes this little triangle here, is u minus v. And we're going to call that vector w for right now. Uh, so let me go ahead and erase uh, all of this extra stuff. And hopefully that was enough to convince you that uh, this vector here that's completing this triangle is u minus v. And we said that the angle between u and v is theta. All right, now we've got a triangle. Let's use the law of cosines. Um, so the law of cosines says that the magnitude of w, this, uh, the length of that side right there, is going to be equal to the magnitude of u, uh, sorry, squared, is equal to the magnitude of u squared plus the magnitude of v squared um, minus 2 times the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of theta. So remember, with all the magnitude here, the magnitude just means uh, it's the length of each of our sides. Um, all right, so we've, got, we've applied the law of cosines, and we've gotten this. Let's rearrange this equation just a little bit. Let's move all of this over to the other side, move that w over here. We're going to get that 2 times the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of theta um, is going to be equal to the magnitude of u squared plus the magnitude of v squared minus the magnitude of w squared. All right. Now, let's talk about uh, the magnitude of u, the magnitude of v, the magnitude of w. So the magnitude of u is going to be equal to the square root of the first component, u1 squared, plus uh, u2 squared, plus u3 squared, where uh, the vector u is equal to uh, this u1, u2, u3. All right, so, so the magnitude there, uh, if, we, if we square both sides now, uh, we get that the magnitude of u squared, uh, which is what we want up here, is going to be equal to u1 squared plus u2 squared plus u3 squared. All right, now uh, for the same reason, the magnitude of v is going to be v1 squared plus v2 squared plus v3 squared. And now w w is just uh, v minus u. So the components 
of W are going to be uh, U1 minus V1. That's, that's our, our first component in, in W, our I component, uh, squared, plus uh, this is going to be U2 minus V2 squared, plus U3 minus V3 squared. All right. Um, let's go ahead and, and uh, multiply this out. So this is equal to uh, u1 squared minus 2 u1 v1 plus v1 squared plus uh, u2 squared minus 2 u2 v2 um, plus v2 squared plus u3 squared minus 2 u3 v3 plus v3 squared. All right, so now we get the, uh, sorry, these should be squared, both of these. U, the magnitude of u squared is uh, this, the magnitude of v squared is this, the magnitude of w squared is all of this. So let's, um, let's take this, and, uh, and add them all up in terms of these components. Um, let me make some room here. I'm going to erase this, and I'm just going to take all of this. So um, uh, the magnitude of u squared plus the magnitude of v, v squared. The magnitude of u squared plus the magnitude of v squared minus the magnitude of w squared. That's going to be equal to um, u1 squared plus u2 squared plus u3 squared plus v1 squared plus v2 squared plus v3 squared minus, so we're subtracting w, so we have to apply, uh, we have to distribute that negative sign across all of this. So we're going to get um, negative u1 squared plus 2u1 v1 minus v2 squared minus u2 squared plus 2u2 v2 uh, minus v2 squared. Am I running out of room? Uh, minus u3 squared plus 2u3 v3 uh, minus v3 squared. All right. Now, look what's, what's happened here. We've got u1 squared minus u1 squared. u2 squared uh, minus u2 squared. u3 squared minus u3 squared. Uh, v1 squared minus v2 squared. v2 squared minus v2 squared. v3 squared minus v3 squared. And what we're left with is that this um, is equal to just uh, 2uv1 v1, sorry, 2u1 v1 plus 2u2 v2 plus 2u3 v3. And we said that that is equal to 2 uh, times the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of theta. So let's, um, let's take our result here and replace this with uh, what we got from all of this. So we said that now 2 times the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of theta is equal to 2u1 v1 plus 2u2 v2 plus 2u3 v3. And uh, we can factor a 2 out of this, u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3 
and that's equal to 2 times the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of theta, and we can uh, divide both sides by 2. And so what we get is uh, this, the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v is equal to the cosine of theta, or times the cosine of theta is equal to all of this. Now, uh, hopefully you recognize what this is. The first component of u times the first component of v plus the second component of u times the second component of v plus the third component of u times the third component of v, that is the dot product of u and v. So we have that the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of theta is equal to the dot product of u and v. Now let's divide both sides by the magnitude of u and the magnitude of v. We get that the cosine of theta is equal to the dot product of u and v uh, divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. And so theta is equal to uh, the inverse cosine of the dot product of u and v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. And that is what we were trying to show.